so I'm challenging myself to use most of what came out of it. Phew, excuse me. And uh, I've been sneezing and hiccups today. What is it? <laughs> so I'm challenging myself to only use a few of the items I have, but also what I bought yesterday, I'm challenging myself to use those items to make this arrangement. So basically what I'm going to add is a bear. I thought he'd look cute on the outside there. So I'm going to add him. I'm going to put back in the greenery I pulled out, just minus the berries and the silver balls. Thank you, Dawn. So that's my challenge to see what we come up with here. So, I may go ahead and use just one pick of my own to go in the middle to get the height that I want. All right, so I'm thinking of putting that right down the middle. All right. I may remove these because they're just too frosty looking for me. But that's gonna be the plan. And I had bought these yesterday too. So I think we're gonna cover these and put these in the arrangement. I think I'm only gonna cover three of them. Remember, this arrangement was 99 cents and the balls were 49. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of challenge myself to see what I can do. And then we'll add some pine cones and such. Y'all having a good day? Yes, wouldn't that be an idea? This had a lot of greenery in it, and then it had this silver thing. <laughs> then this green thing, and a bunch of these in it. So, I just thought it'd be cute to make something rustic. I'm not liking the pine cones on here because I want this to be rustic and natural, and these are too sparkly, so they're coming off. But I think everything else can stay. So basically, I'm just putting the greenery back in. There's already picks attached. I sure can. You got it, Dawn. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, all the picks are attached. When I started pulling apart, boy, this, even the styrofoam was coming out. There you go. Now you got it. I'm just kind of separating these and pushing these in. Got to be really careful because these picks that are on here, boy, they're pretty, pretty darn sharp. I didn't want it to scream Christmas. I pretty much just wanted it to look wintry and and rustic. You're welcome. Everybody doing good? Is it raining where you are? It's raining here. Basically, I'm just filling in with the low in the front. I left the styrofoam in there. The styrofoam is still pretty good, and so is the, the moss that's in there. That looks pretty good. Just want to 
wanted something to do on this yucky rainy day. So I thought, what better to do than get on here and chat it up with you guys. Okay. A lot of good picks in here. I mean, this whole arrangement, I can use the others in another arrangement. Basically, all I have into it right now is the fabric and one pick. They're calling for snow here tomorrow. do this but oh, I thought this looked really rustic so let's bring some of this in this is just that um, roping from the Dollar Tree. I love it because it just looks so rustic. It has a burlap look to it. Really? Well, you're higher up than me, so yeah. I'm feeling we're both going to get it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around a couple of times. I'll leave this section in the back. Where are we at here? There we go. <clears throat> Take it around again. I know. It's yucky, isn't it? All right, so I have like three, three wraparounds. I should probably tie this in the front because then I can attach the bear to it. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Just thought I'd pop on here. I'm challenging myself. I bought this this um, arrangement at a secondhand shop yesterday and it was only like 99 cents <laughs> so I've ripped it apart and I'm challenging myself to put most of it back in but then decorate it differently so what I've done is I've covered the base with um, some fleece I'm trying to use what I bought yesterday. All I've added so far has been one pick to the middle. There. Like I kind of want it like that. And then I'm going to glue him onto the front. I don't know. It looks kind of big. I have this other one. And he's probably going to 
grace this arrangement because of the fact that he's smaller. I think this guy is too big. So all I've added is one pick, a bear, and some roping, and the fleece so far. These I also picked up there, so we're going to cover these, and we're going to put these in the arrangement. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I made out really well there yesterday, so I wanted to challenge myself to make it into something different. I took all the crap out of it and and it was all mashed down it had this in there and it had all these in there and these are the real hard plastic ones they're not the styrofoam so I could add them in there but I'm not because I want to go I don't want this to look Christmas I want it to look more like um, rustic and I could add, take my, my uh, Cricut-like cutter and put a name on that or put some words on there. Maybe like welcome or something. So I'm gonna put that on there last. I have pine cones that I got from Dollar General, 12 of them for a dollar. I could, if I wanted to, put some bells in here, but I'm not going to. All right, let's cover these balls and get these in here somehow. Oh my gosh, yes. Good idea, Dawn. Dawn always comes on and she always comes up with a good idea. That would be awesome. And I know I have some. Now, where are they? <laughs> That's going to be the fun part, trying to figure out where they are. All right. So let's start attaching. That would be awesome. Oh, my gosh. Then it would smell so good, wouldn't it? See? Don't you wish someday you could have all your followers here and just like help you pop on? Anytime you want to come down, Dawn. <laughs> all right, now what am I going to attach these with? I went looking for skewers and I can't find any. So. I always save bits and pieces from items I cut off just for this reason. I do too. Cinnamon always compliments. I'm thinking I'm going to have to put something around the rim of this to cover up the rim. Go for it anytime you want. <laughs> My door is always open. Need to go a little deeper. There we go. That would be so much fun. Now, 
sure I have some roping down here. I'm going to use just some of this. And, I, and some of this would look good through there too. That would be awesome. Trim off some of this excess fabric. I love about doing this I I get so inspired by other people's you know you're sitting there and then the wheels start turning I actually have a can it's a puppy formula can and I thought you know see that looks kind of cute in there except the next one we do we're gonna get some more red on top so that just got a piece of black on top. So we want more red showing. Yep. You got it. Sharing is caring. I've been watching some new people because I want to come up with some different ideas. And I get inspired by other people's ideas. I need to pull up on that. It's a little too short on that side. There we go. Now, will I get lucky and find another pick? <laughs> I know I had more. If not, I have some tinsel tie. We can stuff that down in there. actually use some of this. There we go. Nope. I know I have more. I need a pick machine. That's what I need. I'm going to use some tinsel tie. We can stuff that down in there.
do have a lot of videos. I made a Christmas tree from um, clothes hangers last year. So if you go back in some of the videos on my YouTube channel, you'll see other ideas. <clears throat> now, probably going to have to stick, uh, make a hole. long Shelly, I think I'm just going to stick it right down through the middle here And that disappears really good with that tinsel tie because that looks like the pine. There we go. All right. All right, we'll make one more. Hi, Nanny Dot. I know, right? And you could so use a, a coffee can. It's like I just, I thought the white was really pretty. And I actually originally thought I could just wrap some of the ribbon I have around it. But then I thought that. That's so stark white. I want it to look like the buffalo print. So, thank you, Kayla. I'm challenging myself to use only most of what I bought yesterday. The only thing I've added is one pick and this fabric and the um, roping. Everything else came with the with the arrangement. And we want it to look rustic and I'm probably going to add this bear to the front. And Dawn suggested adding some cinnamon sticks. So when I find those, we're going to add those. This was my $99, my 99 cent special yesterday with the 20% off. I need a stick in there. Yeah, I thought it looked, it brought it into this decorating season. I mean, the white was fine, and I can always rewrap it, you know. I'm, I'm just into the bears and the buffalo print this year. Another voting phone call. How many of you are ready for the election to be over? I am so ready for it to be over. I am so tired 
of the commercials and the phone calls and the mail. There. And we can add some regular pine cones. So let's see, I've got probably less than a dollar in fabric. One pick, which is probably two something. Pine cones, which I won't use all of them. Now, let's see. I think I'm right in there, but this needs to go down just a little bit. There we go. How many of you gone to Dollar General since I did my live the other day? <laughs> and these, we could probably just hang them. I don't know. What do you think? Glue them? Yeah. I think glue them. I think gluing would be better. <clears throat> yeah, I wondered how many went out and got pine cones in a manger scene. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look cute? And these are really real. That's awesome. Look at that. I may have to add some furries. Just to make it look really woodsy. really well to this too. <laughs> I figured. Oh, and I finished my barn wreath. I actually just went ahead and added a second ribbon down here. I just wanted it to be plain. The red truck was nice, but it was taking away from the barn, which was the whole theme of it. So, so let's add about, let's see, I'm trying to think, maybe about two more. So then we'll have an odd number in there, which is what you want for visual purposes. Let's see, one, two, three, maybe one right, right here maybe. Yeah. And we'll make it a big one. Yeah, I think the bow was just perfect. I love these pine cones because they're not even breaking. All right, so I still gotta fix the top of this because I'm seeing some of the white. I should have taken it down and over. So let's take some of the, I just had it here. <laughs> The roping. Yeah, here it is. Let's take some of the roping and actually that'll look nice because it'll give it a real rustic look to the top. So let's glue that there. I should have went over the top with it. So Start back here. Better put my glasses on. All this 
moss is flaking all over the place. I'm going to have to uh, take a limp brush and get rid of all of it. it needs some berries so we'll do that next got a piece of pine sticking out down here there we go boy you know Don you get some of those Dollar Tree Christmas trees and some coffee cans. That'll really look cute. Because those are really inexpensive. I'm trying to do this without burning myself. And so far, so good. There we go. Okay, that's covered up. Kind of like the bow on this. So I think I'm going to take the bow off of that. Nah, it's too big for there, isn't it? Well, wait a minute. That's, see Dawn, that's why you're on. <laughs> Keep me on track. I do have a red bird and I do have berries. So let me just find some. My bird. not finding the bird so we may have to look for that I like these berries because they kind of have that frosting on them but no we need solid red that would look better Yeah, although I don't know. What do you think? See, I was going to use holly, but that screams Christmas. I'm liking the solid ones better. going to bring this out. This is my berry bucket. I kind of like these. Yeah. But the, watch that be the only one I have. There goes a bell.
See, I like these solid red berries better than those other ones, but I only have one of these, so we're going to use that one, and then we're going to cut up this, what's left of that um, candle ring, and put clumps of that in there. That's what we're doing. I like that. All right. Yeah, just down the middle, right there like that, and then those around. Gonna have to glue them. he would look like painted black. What do you think? Should I paint him black? One, two, three, four, five. Let's add two more. And then we'll have to tear the basement apart to find those cinnamon sticks again. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I need to paint him black and put him on there. Yep. He was actually used, he was going to be used, I think this came from Walmart, um, for my other grandson's my daughter-in-law's um, baby shower. We did hers all in woodland. You know, I could paint it black, but then I could rough it up to make it look worn. Oh my gosh, I love this. One right there. And... over here right there actually gotta watch because some of these these are styrofoam and some of them are a little bit boogered up well Let's just start gluing some of these in and then they'll end up where they end up. Oh, I'm loving this. All from my 99 cent find. Missy, this is this is the arrangement from yesterday. I covered it with fleece and took everything out of it. We added one pick, three balls, and some berries, and some rope. Is all we've added to this. How about that? 
And I'm going to take a marker and play with that and cover that up. And then Dawn got the idea of adding cinnamon sticks because we have a bear that we're going to add to the front. So I'm going to paint him black and we're going to add a cinnamon stick to him. And this was all the stuff that came off the other arrangement minus the uh, silver balls and the green ton of these left, these green picks. And I'll use those in something else because they're the plastic berries, not the styrofoam. And that's what I always try and get, the plastic. Because you use that styrofoam and you put that outdoors and it just comes apart. I'm just making sure we got everything in there. And then we'll put our black bear on the front. And what do you think? So probably got maybe three dollars into it, four dollars. Isn't that cute? Not sure about all this. I may have to take that off of there. I'm not sure yet. I'll leave it there for now, but may end up changing that out. Now think that's good. Dawn suggested a bird and I have to look for one. I know I have one somewhere. Hi, I'm Robin from Robin's Re3. Earlier we made this arrangement and we went ahead and I made balls for this but I actually just stretched the ball the fabric over the ball. Well, I think I found an easier way. What you're going to do is you're going to make a really nice size hole in the bottom of the ball. And you're going to hollow it out a little. All right. Then let's test it here. Make sure that we have enough fabric from all sides. Yes, we do. I could zoom you in, so it'll make it a little easier to see. All right, so we've got our hole in our ball. Now what we're going to do is kind of find the center of your fabric. And then what we're going to start doing is we're going to start stuffing this down in the hole. Okay. Make sure you have something nearby that you can use to really push this down in there. Not your fingers. Because that glue is going to be hot. See, what I'm doing is I'm doing all four sides first. And I, cut, I could have went a little bigger on my hole. Because this is a smaller bowl than what I used earlier. But the object is to just keep tucking this down in and then trim off your excess. going to trim some of this off because it's not all going to fit in there but the bulk of it and I would try and use fleece because number one fleece is is water repellent okay the anti-pill and not only that um, it stretches you can really stretch it in there Let 
You want something to really push it down in. So pull and stretch it in and push it in. make your own wreath picks this way or balls for your wreath. I think next time with this one I would I would have done a bigger hole. But see how it's getting down in there? So we just have this little bit to work in. Going to trim some of that. I'm going to add a little more glue. And then I'm going to kind of pull this over this way, stretch it, and push it really far into that hole. See? Kind of use your scissors to keep pushing it in or a screwdriver whatever you have that you could push it down in there but see how it kind of all goes in there not like these where we've got this hunk of fabric stuck to the bottom okay this is a much cleaner ball all that fabric is stuffed in there then if you are smart and you save the pieces from the ends of the flowers that you cut off. You just take one of these and you make sure you get this in the hole. Look at that. You got yourself a ball for your wreath or your arrangement or whatever. Da da. Okay? Just thought I'd jump on and give you that little tip, which I didn't realize when we were doing these that I could do that. So good luck and look forward to seeing pictures of your designs. Have a great day.